Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a custom build day. In today's video, I'm going to be building a custom iWatter display stand and it is going to be mounted on the wall over there so it's basically so i've got the brushes to hand in this side of the studio because usually they're in that side on the wall in there and that just needs a good tidy up and a revamp in that side so i'm bringing the brushes in here so they're all to hand so the first stages on today's video will be projecting this image up i've cut a piece of the signboard that i'm using out that is aluminium composite signboard so you've got aluminium and then a dense plastic and then aluminium again and it's compressed together it's about five mil thick that's how i made the dread effects custom paint sign there it's the same stuff but one side was plain aluminium and then buzzed over with a disc grinder for doing ground metal art so i'll take you through these stages today put you in some time lapses and we'll crack on we'll bring this display stand to life so i'll see you in the first step picked a bit up in that time lapse when you put the projector on you'll get a flickery screen because of the light coming across the actual GoPro picking that up and you're on time lapse so I've projected the image up and pencil around so I've got a light outline and that's what we're working from we've got the custom Micron Takuma three feet wide the next stage on this is to really carefully jigsaw out all these intricate pieces on this airbrush because you've got the bit where the needle comes through at the front, you've got the chuck piece at the back, so we're gonna cut out all these little pieces in here. So I'll stick you on a time lapse, we'll get all this cut out, and then I'm gonna go round 320, and then just sand all around these edges and make all these edges nice and smooth. So that's the next stage. See you in the next time lapse. short time lapse I didn't capture a lot in it because the camera decided to overheat and turn itself off because it's quite warm in here and I've got the heater it's sort of blowing warm air straight into the camera so it turned off so you only caught a little bit of the time lapse but I've cut all the custom micron to cool me out so that's all nice and neat went round with a jigsaw and then went round just tidying bits up with some 320 grit sandpaper and a scalpel and just cut in and just smoothing out all them bits so you've got the bit with the chuck piece at the back that's all cut out and then your front piece where the needle comes through all your threads are in so that's that stage the next stage on this to do is we're going to now paint it and now we're going to make it look like chrome put all the drop shadows in and we'll get all this airbrushed up and then ready for clear coat so i will see you in the next step Hopefully this time lapse will come out. See you in a bit guys.
the airbrushed airbrush. Uh, the Iwata Custom Micron Takumi big version. I'll just talk through some of the bits in that because I think I missed a bit out of the time lapse. I had headphones on blasting music and I was away just now and again just clicking the record so I've caught enough for you. I went in, the hardest part on this was cutting it out with a jigsaw because you've got all the the actual bits where they are cut out on the actual brush, I've cut them out on this, on this actual piece. So getting around all these little intricate pieces with jigsaw is a little bit fiddly. Um, but other than that, painting it quite straightforward. On the screen here, this looks quite, it's like a very light purple reflection on this. So I dropped a teeny bit of purple in first, just round the edges and gave it a little bit of dusting. Then I went in with a light, lightish grey, dusted over with grey, and then started using, I've used the rulers for all the straight edges, and I used the pocket graphics. These are great. I did a review on these yesterday, and I've, I've used these on this, and they're brilliant. They really are, because you can get right in on them little small pieces where you need the curves and little sharp edges, and they work, guys. They really do, they're spot on. So I recommend those. I use a French curve to get that big piece there, that light curve in there. I've used this one on pieces, mainly the ruler. Uh, I use paint pens, Posca paint pens, black and white. I've used an artist brush, went in with the paint pen and just put that to Kumi to pat in and then went over with the paintbrush to give it that colour that you have actually on the brush. So the next stage on this is to clear coat it. Um, I'm not going for a mirror finish on this, I just want to get a little bit of clear over, just to make it pop a little bit more, and then we can put the brackets on. The actual brushes are going to be mounted. You'll have this one to the top, which will be mounted here. Then the custom microns can be mounted around here. You'll have one there mounted, one along here, and then another one here. And then the brackets, I'll do some batten timber on the back because it's going to be just slightly off the wall and we'll do some picture frame brackets. One there and one up there, and then that will just hold it against the wall just nice. So the next stage on this is clear coat. I'll buzz some clear on it, stick in a time lapse, drop a bit of clear on, and then we can start getting these brackets on. See you in a bit. Right, I'll just talk you through the time lapse. You've seen the clear coat stage. I've done a bit previous to the clear coat stage and I've drilled through, located where I want to put the airbrushes, and I've just drilled through with a drill bit through the aluminium, so they were all pre-drilled before we clear coated, and I've made the brackets and mounted the brackets to the aluminium. I'll just run through that stage on how I did that. On the back of this airbrush, you are basically looking at a piece of aluminium which looks like this. And what I've done is, I've made some little timber batten brackets with a picture hook on the back. So I pre-drilled and screwed them in and just made three pieces like that. So you would have that one would mount, so you see it like that. We've got one that side behind there and we've got one behind that part of the brush there, just here. And the way I mounted this piece, the timber to the aluminium, if that's the back of the aluminium, I've got a scalpel and gouged into the aluminium crisscross and basically keep that surface up so that's really really coarse you can hear that got some of this glue which is a solvent proof wood adhesive and this stuff bonds to anything dropped a bit of that on there and then placed that onto the aluminium weighted that down 10 minutes and that's gone off and dry. So that's basically what you're looking at at the back of this brush is like that. So the next stage on this is to mount the airbrush brackets that we've got the holes pre-drilled for here. I've got one mounted at the back 
already and these are basically the armor plating cable ties that you see outside that mount it these are like a really thick plastic and I'm basically doing this putting a bolt through 10 mil bolt with a washer putting the washer on the back of the aluminium and then we're putting some locking nuts like that 10 mil and then bolting that and clamping that through so we're going to have one there there's going to be one there one there and then one there so I'll stick you in a time lapse you'll see me buzz through I get all these little brackets done and then I'll mount it to the wall and then we can see what it looks like with all the brushes in so I'll see you the next step there you go in them last time lapses we put the brackets on to mount the airbrushes and then you see me fit it to the wall nice and simple straightforward if you're handy with tools not a problem at all so I've added a little extra to this I've made an iWatta logo and we've mounted the logo to the wall as well so that just finishes it off so I'll pan around now and give you a little show of it and talk you through some of the brushes and why I've got them and what I'd recommend them guys. So you've got the Iwata Eclipse, the HP SBS. This is a 0 0.5 and that's a bottom feed. That is over 10 years old and it's never missed a beat. It's a cracking brush by Iwata. So I'd recommend that one. And then moving on, you've got the HP SBS Eclipse. That's on a 0 0.35, another great all round brush, beginner brush, brilliant side feed. So that's another one. And then if you're moving on to your detailed brushes, you've got the HP SB Plus, which is another side feed, and that's a 0.2. So that's a cracking brush. And then you've got your flagship at the front, which is the CNSB V2 Custom Micron on a 0.18. And then up to the top, we've got the new edition, the Eclipse Takume, which is a 0.35 side feed. Again, another cracking brush, which is the new one from Iwata. So I hope you've enjoyed the video on the Iwata Custom Takume display stand. I've also done another video which is up on the channel, which is the Creos display stand, which is this one here. So I've made this one. It was basically cut out the same as the one we've just done, but this one's based off of a PS270. And then you've got the same brackets, but it's just mounted on timber a different way. So this is a table stand you've got the PS270 there the PS771 and then you've got the PS290 and then a nice finishing touch was the Creos engraved logo at the bottom so that's that that is on the channel I just want to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers that have come over it's much appreciated we're nearly at that thousand subs guys so it's, thanks so much for joining me on the channel the next video that's coming up will be the review on the Flake King. Now this one's going to be a good one because it's going to be the pro kit that I'm going to talk you through and then we're going to I'll demo you all the bits and the guns in the pro kit on how to metal flake. We'll do an aluminium panel, there's going to be airbrushing this. There'll be lace work where you lay the lace down, candies, metal flakes. So it's all going to be in there guys. It will be a long one so stay tuned on that one. It's going to be a good one. Just want to say Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.